Hey, how's it going? My name is Nakeen Wycliffe and I am a local Seattle photographer starting to jump into a little bit of uh, video work. Um, today I wanted to talk just a little bit about the uh, Steadicam Solo. Um, I did purchase one um, because I wanted something a little bit more substantial than the Merlin. Um, I've worked with the Merlin for a little while now, the Merlin Steadicam and found that it's really pretty touchy. I did buy it secondhand, so there might be some faults in the gimbal, I'm not sure, um, but I'm constantly calibrating it. So I wanted something a little bit larger, perhaps, um, that I wouldn't have to calibrate so often. Um, so I checked out the Steadicam Solo, uh, made by Tiffin. It seems as though the gimbal is the same that's on the larger Steadicams. Um, like the Steadicam Pilot. Uh, the stage is built really nicely. Uh, it's built, it seems to be a lot like the uh, Glidecam or uh, similar uh, Steadicams in that, you know, you've got the anchor here. Uh, weights can be placed on here on either side. There's actually holes to place uh, more weights and you can slide them so you can get that dynamic balance that you're looking for. Stage is built really nicely. The knobs are awesome because uh, I, I've heard there's a lot of these out there that you actually need tools anytime you want to move the camera fore and after, side to side, uh, as well as having to move the entire stage, you know, by f by fingertip instead of just tiny little increments. So it's a lot easier to get this balance than some of the others out there. Um, the claim to fame for this guy has been the uh, monopod. Uh, being able to, you know, extend it and use it as such. Uh, for me, I don't think that it makes a ton of sense. Um, if I'm going to be doing a static shot, I'd much rather have it on a tripod. Um, I'll bring a small enough tripod that I can pack that and, you know, toss it on the backpack. I'm actually recording with it right now, so I can't show. Um, but yeah, so, you know, anytime you move these weights up or down to use the monopod you're changing the balance of this thing so you know you won't be able to necessarily just pick it up and fly I keep hearing um, reps talk about just you know using it as a monopod and then that's like taking it off and flying and it just to me that just doesn't make much sense unless of course you have it balanced to work like this but to work with a steady cam this long seems just a, a little crazy to me um so some other issues I've had with this uh, and you know that few days that I've actually been able to uh, use it, about a week now, um, is that I thought, you know, it's built for smaller cameras, uh, such as the GH4, which I'm using to record this right now, or uh, uh, any DSLR out there. Um, but when I turn with the camera on, the stage and the camera follows the movement of my turn. Um, which is completely the opposite of what you want in a steady cam. You want your movements to be completely isolated from the camera movements. So that's one issue I've had with it. I know that you can add more weights perhaps to help counter that, but that's completely going in the opposite direction I want to go into. I don't want a bigger, beefier rig because then you're going to need to use a vest, you're going to need to use an arm, and all of a sudden my portable rig is not so portable. Uh, you need a case to carry all that stuff in and it's just big and bulky hard to get through small spaces with it so those are some issues i've had with it um it packs up pretty small but not tiny you know and this thing gets heavy uh that's the one difference also one another difference i should say with the merlin and the steadicam solo with the merlin your hand sits right under the weight so the weights on top here the weights out extended out over so your wrist gets a ridiculous workout and again the only way to fix that is to put it on a vest put it on uh, some arms and then again you're not talking about small and compact you at that point you might as well invest in a real steady cam such as the pilot um, let me show the difference with the Merlin again with this one your arm is out outstretched over with the Merlin your wrist that's holding the weight sits directly under the weight. It's much less stress on the wrist. It's a, way lighter than the uh, Solo as well. I can carry this for a long time, a very long time, and it packs up so neatly. That's tiny. I can put this in this tiny little bag along with my camera, headphones, microphone, flashes, anything else I might need to record 
Uh, it fits in this this little bag. So I, I feel I'd rather have this Merlin. My slider, little two foot slider, carbon fiber, super light, uh, made by Rhino. You guys should check them out there. Uh, local in Seattle, Puyallup, I believe. And uh, my tripod, which uh, I'm using to record right now. Um, that's portable. Um, this, not so much. I really, really, really wanted to like this, uh, but I think it is going to have to go back. Uh, again, my name is Nakian Wycliffe, local Seattle photographer. You can check out my website at www.nakian.com. That's N-A-K-E-A-N. And I think that's it. I know how these things end. Good? Awesome.